so I made a tweet a couple weeks ago when it got a kind of a conversation started. I think a lot of people responded, a lot of people vibed with it, where I said, I think right now as a player, from a player perspective, I think right now this era, the, the COVID era, I think it is most difficult to be motivated as a fighting game player. I wanted to expand upon that and I wanted to present this idea, right? Where if you're the horse as a player, you know, what is your carrot? There's two ways, right? You have the carrot, which is to encourage you to move. Or there's the there's a stick on the back of your ass, right? <laughs> Ideally, you don't have to get that one, right? Ideally, you move on the, on the, on the basis of the carrot alone. What this era forces you to think about is what is that carrot? So for, for, for me, for, I think for a lot of people, the carrot on the stick isn't necessarily money. That's really just for like, I think 0.001% of players, you know, are motivated by that. Or maybe like some are motivated by the pursuit of it, but maybe not a huge, huge deal. You know, uh, for me personally, my carrot <laughs> is stages, competitions, events, prize money, social experiences. For me personally, it is the, the opportunity to be able to compete and prove myself for a long time. I think that's what it was. And be able to sh share in that with other people. I think you have to talk about the way Cuddlecore puts the scene. Like she said something really cool in that. I think it was the Vice Doc. Where she said, you know, how she would explain a fighting game event to somebody, who, to the uninitiated or somebody that doesn't know. She said something that I think we all really vibe with. She said it was like a cookout, a pickup basketball game, and a music festival all in one. There's a That's a really cool, I think, way to describe the way you feel about like offline events in the scene, you know? You know, this is something that if you if you're one of those players who you've never gone to an offline event before, if you if you just stay online, this is probably not going to hit really hit really hard for you because you, you might not know the difference. Right. As an offline player, for me, I've had to really reevaluate my motivation and rediscover fighting games in the absence of all offline events. The truth of the matter is, like for me, net play does not satisfy me. It does absolutely nothing for me. You know, getting to a particular rank or climbing a tower, uh, something like that, that's cool. But it doesn't really satisfy me as much as grinding the game to learn and improve and get better at those things so that I can be tested at the offline event and pass, hopefully. It's a means to an end to be able to achieve my other goals. That's the way I look at netplay. You know, before where... It's this, I'm this horse, right? And I'm motivated by the opportunity to go out there and play. I'm okay with hopping on that net play treadmill where you're not really going anywhere. You're not doing anything, but you're, you're steadily trying to get more and more familiar with the game. You're trying to learn. You're trying to improve. You're trying to get better, right? So you're losing, using it to learn matchups, learn how to learn how to play the game at a higher level, you know? That grind, like I said, it's merely an end. It's a means to an end for me. And it's more so about me being able to use that experience in order to get offline performances and results for myself and overall the quality of the journey through that and that alone is i think for me in this era what i've had to refocus on you know whereas now i don't have the benefit of having an offline event to look forward to for me a lot of it has been just kind of taking the experience of that journey and being satisfied with long-term growth with it every other week i can't say every week but you know whenever bobby giuna you know, the cool thing about Tekken for me is the fact that, like, our little crew out here, it's kind of like a middle ground. Everybody kind of plays it to a degree. Ken doesn't play fighting games, you know, not really. But even he, he, he can do back three with Asuka, you know. He knows her strings. He knows, her, like, he knows, like, the suboptimal combos enough to be able to, you know, scrub out some wins. Uh, even Andy. Andy started playing with us. He picked up Julia. He even even he can 4-4-1 four, four, with the best of them, you know. Like, <laughs> you know, God, God bless him. 4-4-1 four, four, nonstop, just, you know, just doing his thing. But, you know, the fact that, like, Bobby, Giuno, me, we, everybody can kind of play it, right? Even having that, like, that small group being able to go to the studio and being able to know, like, man, I'm going to go and I'm actually going to be able to play offline today. That little bit of motivation gives me a push. What I realized is that I'm playing in order to pursue a higher level of play. It was like that for, it's been like that for every game for me. For me, I thought about things that I wanted with, with Tekken specifically, right? If we're just going to keep that example. You know, when I think about, like, my long-term goals, I want to be able to pursue the higher levels of play with the game. I want to go to Combo Breaker, CEO, and Evo. I want to be playing casuals, and I want I want to sit down to Poke Shop when he's had something to drink, and he's yell he's being mad belligerent, being, being, uh, being super loud, getting told to shut up in a stadium full of people, and he's asking for money matches. I want to step up and say, Poke, put your stimmy up. 
and I want to run the set with him, and I want to watch him look sad after. Those kinds of goals for me right now, I can't see them in front of my face, you know? With the way that the world is right now, it's very difficult to see that as a short-term or even mid-term goal. But I have to know that, like, it's it's out there, you know? It's, it's, it's going to be a while before I might get that opportunity or that chance. Just make sure you stay running on it. Make sure you're doing what you have to do to be able to get that opportunity when it comes, you know? But, you know, for, for me, like, what does that mean, right, when I talk about that? That means that, for me, even though it's very difficult to be motivated when you have no carrot in front of your face, right? You're literally just getting your ass beat on net play. You're literally just taking the stick of net play, just beating the shit out you, you know? It means that I have to have a sense of self-satisfaction with knowing that I'm making incremental progress towards those long-term goals that I want. And then I have to be satisfied with that. I have to push that and I have to be satisfied with that. The determination and the motivation to have long-term success, long-term, you know, in, in the end, be able to achieve your goals. To me, that has to be more powerful than how much I hate net play. I've constantly had to kind of like uh, reevaluate that, right? Like, why do I play these games? What's fun about them for me? Why do I play? So what I wanted to do is uh, I wanted to pose the question to you guys, right? This is I told you my spiel or whatever. But I want to ask, has COVID at all affected how much you play fighting games? Uh, do you still feel motivated in them? If not, what have you been playing? You know, what other games have scratched that itch for you? If you have been continuing to play, what have you found that drives you and motivates you? Or what is the reason why you play? Have you felt like you've had to rediscover that? Is that something that... Is there something to the game that keeps you plugged in? If so, you know? Let me know in the comments below, man. I, just want, I want to hear what y'all think. I definitely had to, th to think about it a lot. I'll put it that way. But I want to hear what, what other people are out there thinking and feeling. Anyway, I'll catch you guys next time. Be good.